Okay, so the huge gap that he said he couldn't put his hand through, even though he could put his foot through, didn't make any sense, but I'm going to put this here and I'm going to somehow fit down there. How? I could barely fit through there without this being in the way, but now that it is there, there's no way I could fit there. Weird. Alright, down we go. Probably should have saved it first. Ugh, the stench of rotting flesh is unbearable. What did that damn German doctor want me to bring? These must be the chemicals he was talking about. But which one? Let's save it. Hold on, can I can I leave? Okay, I want I feel safer saving it up here. Gas control switch. Body. That doesn't even really look human. It looks humanoid. Basin. It could be a, co uh, a water basin, but I think it's for blood, actually. This lever shuts gas on and off. Dirty water from the tap drips down here. It's leaking. Blue chemical. Blue. It seems to be glowing. Red is blood. Is this the deadly chemical I should inject into Ivy's veins? It's a complicated machine that, I think, is keeping some vital functions of the man on the table. Wait, he's alive? Oh god. Do I need to use him as a test dummy to figure out which one's the painless one? Patient's file. And there's some personal information about the man on the table in it. Let's read it. John Wilson, date of birth, 15-6-1969, place of birth, Plymouth, blood, O-negative, history of mental illness, paranoid schizophrenia. Known by the press as the Devonshire Axeman, who brutally murdered several people using the fire axe. Oh. Huh. So he's a killer. Okay, then. his body is connected to several tubes and pipes coming out of the nearby machinery. Oh. Remove loose skin? Ugh. But he's probably alive. So this is John Wilson. A schizo from Plymouth. A legendary axeman. I wonder how he ended up on this operating table. I think his body is dead, but his brain is being kept alive by machinery connected to it. I poked him in the arm, but there's no reaction. Really don't know if I want to pull away that loose skin, but I think I have to. Do I need to replace his brain with a pig's brain? I'm not really sure what that would accomplish. Alright. Let's remove his loose skin. Oh. I should think of some way of transporting the brain fresh first. Oh. I can't just carry it in my hands. Good point. Who wouldn't want to carry a, a brain in your bare hands or shove it into a pocket? No. Wouldn't want to do that, especially now with like a pig's brain or something like that. That'd just be disgusting. Actually, I guess it's because the pig's brain doesn't matter because it's not alive. But anyway, this should work. Well, I didn't even, like, I didn't even realize I was actually prepping myself for this puzzle. By getting lost and doing other stuff. Alright, now I've got an iced brain. Do you want a pig's brain? I'm not sure if I want to do that. He's dead now anyway. Maybe if there was a good reason to. Good point. It's empty. Sticking my hand in there won't change a thing. I feel like when I move away, he's going to open his eyes. Alright, he didn't. Okay, so I still don't know which chemical I need. 
Oh yeah, gas control switch. And the tap. Can I turn the tap on? I'm not sure if it's suitable for drinking. Probably not. I wouldn't drink it. But then again, I wouldn't drink any fluids in this hotel. Let's, uh, let's flip it and see what happens. All right. Oh, I can't turn it off. Hell if I know what that does. So I'm going to speak with the doctor first about the colors before I take one. You weren't there before. It's a dead body. Its head is open and I can see that the brain is missing at the moment. Well, I guess I know what he's going to do with the brain, huh? What, is he going to shock it to life in the electric chair? What the hell? Also, what about the mannequin leg? Can I put it on this? Leave that thing alone! It's not a bloody toy to play with. Alright, fair enough. Sorry, Dr. Z. Here's your brain. One fresh brain. Perfect. Is that it? Okay, I'm glad you're happy with the brain. Now, what does this do? Nothing happened. Still nothing. Okay. Nope. Didn't mean to, didn't mean to touch it. Ah, you're a good boy. So now we're even. I brought that brain for you. Now can you tell me what you're working on here, Doctor? I guess I can trust you now. It's a very delicate business, though. I'm trying to bring to life this dead body you see. While you were gone, I placed it carefully on a special chair of my very design. It's all sewed up, so we don't lose any goodies from its stomach bag. These are all precious things. It took weeks to complete. Now that you fetched the brain for me, I can complete my undead and proceed with the experiment. I might need your help again, though. Would you like to become my... assistant? Wait a second. Aren't you a bit like... Dr. Frankenstein? Dr. Frankenstein? Well, yes. I believe there are certain similarities. But... Oh, damn it, I skipped it. Dr. Frankenstein created a monster. Stupid, slow, and insanely confused big chunk of meat with mind of a child. But my creature will be clever. It will be a true genius! Sure, I'll become your assistant doctor, you crazy bastard. Very well, my boy. Very well. There might be a few things I need you to do for me. Alright, what do you want me to do? There seems to be something wrong with the electricity. You see, I need all the power the shitty hotel can produce to bring my golem to life. You will need to activate the backup generator. These type of generators usually kick in when power is off, but this one... This one's an old piece of junk. You have to switch it on manually. Where is the generator? I'm not sure. But that woman from reception sure does. Crazy bitch, she wouldn't let me use it. She's also got a key that activates the generator. Try speaking to her. If you can find her. But be careful. There's something wrong with her. Something very wrong. Okay. Right. So unfortunately he won't let me, he won't tell me which fluid is the lethal one. So I guess I just need to take a random one. Let's go ahead and save. 
I pick blue. Blue, color of the sky and calm water. Let's hope this is the right one. Is there any way for me to know? Here we go. God, she's probably gonna die in horrible agony. Actually, wait a minute, hold on. Maybe I can take the syringe to the doctor? And say, hey dude, what's up with this blue shit? I feel the end is coming to my suffering. Wait. This pain. This new horrible pain. I feel like my head is gonna... Explode! Oh god... What the fuck? No! I... I've given you the wrong chemical. I... I'm so sorry. Holy shit, her brain literally exploded. Now I wonder... Is it just set to be that way, or if you use the other chemical, is it actually fine? This brings me to an interesting decision. See, normally... I, I always alternate between living with my decisions and the consequences of them, and wanting to reload. To do stuff differently. And in this case, I want to reload. I really want to know. Yeah, I want to know what the other one. We'll, uh... We'll be painless. I think this game has multiple endings as well, so maybe if I get the right one, I might get a slightly more pleasant ending. God knows, whatever the hell the ending is, it's not going to be pleasant. Alright. Yes. I can feel warm death spreading in my veins. It makes me forget all the sadness. It's like a long-forgotten friend that knocked on my door. I feel ready to go. Death will be like stepping from one room to another. It's so beautiful, Joe. It's raining blood. Let's go out together and dance in the rain. As the bloodbath begins. Now. Sleep now. Oh yeah, damn it, I just skipped it again. Raining blood. Didn't Ivy say the same thing last night? Yeah, Ivy did say that it was raining blood, and she just said the same thing. Wonder what that means. Her dress is covered in blood. There's a large silver necklace round her neck. I've taken the necklace. She won't need it anymore. Okay, I think that might mean I can go inside of the mirror. Well, I should be able to kill the other ones in any order that I want now. So, do I have what I need for this recipe? Large amount of meat, fat, and bones. Hmm... I mean, the head would have bones, the pig's brain would have... 
I, I don't know, what is brain mostly made out of? It's not really fat, is it? Protein? I, I don't know. I have a can of oil, but it's not vegetable oil, it's industrial. Let's just try the mirror. Oh, I need to go to sleep. What will Joe dream of tonight? Joe, I'm back. Where are you? Are you in the bath? I'm coming in. Hello, darling. I can't find Lucifer. Where's that stupid cat hiding? He never misses his meal. Oh, um... Well, this isn't real. Do I just want to just be honest? We're kind of play into it. Let's be honest. There's been a little accident. Accident? Please, Joe. Tell me that everything's fine with Lucifer. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shit. Hmm. Well, if I say this one about the box, the one where you keep all the sewing needles and threads, she'll probably blame herself. He was ill. I didn't want to worry you. He was... very... ill. Ill? What are you talking about, Joe? There was nothing wrong with him. Two weeks ago, we saw the vet, and he said that Lucifer is a very healthy cat. It's some kind of joke, isn't it? Come on, Joey, tell me what it is. It's hard to explain. What? What do you mean it's hard to explain? Just tell me what happened. Damn it, I have to say it anyway. You know that box, the one where you keep all the sewing needles and threads? Yeah, the bamboo box my mom gave me. What about it? Okay, Lucifer swallowed the whole bunch of needles and was curling in pain. Oh my god. That's horrible. My poor old Lucifer. But what's in the bag you're hiding? I... I didn't want you to see him suffer. I put him in the bag and drowned him in the bath. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a pleasant death. You did what? You drowned my cat? You sick bastard. I'll never forgive you. Never. How could you? I just wanted to save him from pain. Didn't you see I was being merciful? Just get out of my sight, Joe. Just go. I want to be alone now. Another wonderful dream, Jesus. God, he was in pain, so you drown? What the f... How the fuck is that a good response to somebody being in pain, is drowning them? I mean, there's gotta be a better way. Break its neck? At least... I... I mean... Almost anything would be better than drowning. Jesus. Someone must have put it there when I was asleep. Please come and visit the Black Widow studio. P.S. Uh, P.S. Joe? Don't cut those precious hands of yours on the glass. I think someone wants to tell me to head into town. Huh. Okay. Let's check out the mirror first, though.
So do I have to use a necklace on it? I can't use the necklace with a mirror. But I thought that was a secret for getting in. It's weird. Huh. Alright, well, if I don't use it for getting in, then... What do I do with it? I mean, judging by the fact that part of the mirror broke when I killed her, I'm guessing that I need to kill all of the... the other three memories of her. To completely break open the mirror. But I thought the necklace was to get me in. I don't see the point of it now. Hello? No response. Town center. Alright, so this is back to the hotel. House. Church. Studio gate. Let's look around before going into the studio. Small church. It seems empty. I'm not a religious kind of person. A lonely house stands on the outside of the town. The lights are on, so... There must be someone inside. Hmm. Uh... Let's come back there. And that's the street where the famous Black Widow Studio used to be. Don't cut your hands on the glass. Oops. It's filled with black bin bags. I wonder why someone left it in the middle of the road. <laughs> that is strange, isn't it? Nah, perfectly normal. Happens all the time. Isn't that the studio where they used to make horror films? It looks abandoned now. What do you bet there's all sorts of creepy horror movie props left inside? Notice. a row of lockers and a desk through it. Warning. Due to recent break-ins, the area of the studio, uh, in the area of the studio, the CCTV cameras have been fitted to stop trespassers. Police will be called immediately upon noticing any unusual activity around the gate. Also, we'd like to inform that we have a vacancy for security guard. We offer flexible hours and holiday pay. If you're interested, please apply within. Okay. The only way inside is through, the, through that gate. Can I just flip the lever and it opens, or what? Let's look down the street. It's crashed. Looks like it's been out here for a long time. Waxworks. A street is leading to the famous Museum of Wax. I guess I should probably try to go inside of this studio first. Huh? Let's pull the lever. What, what bad could happen? I pulled the lever, but nothing happened. I must be doing something wrong. 
Guess we gotta continue over to the waxworks place. Could it be related to the lever inside of Dr. Z's office? I don't see why it would be, but... So that's the famous museum of wax sculptures. I heard they have Jack the Ripper here. Nothing to do but go inside, assuming it's open. It's locked. Locked. The whole museum looks to be abandoned. Damn it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Too heavy to push, and I'm not going to look around for all the rubbish in it, hoping I might find something useful inside. Let's go to the house. Eerie looking house. There's always one on the outskirts of a town. Massive wooden door. Damn it. It's locked. Of course. Hmm. Now what? Try the lever in Dr. Z's office? I really don't see why they'd be connected. Maybe it's like a timed thing? Let's try it. Nothing happened. It's it just resets to yellow. I doubt there's a connection. Don't cut those precious hands of yours on the glass. Alright, am I supposed to break open this door? Alright, with what? A mannequin leg? A pig's brain? Shotgun? The hammer broke? What the, what the fuck would a hammer break? But so did the window. I guess this was just a disposable hammer. But still, what a piece of crap. Yeah, I'm sorry, but how the hell do you make a disposable hammer? That doesn't even make any sense. That really doesn't make any sense. If it's strong enough to do the job, how could it be disposable? And if it's if it's not strong enough, I mean, it seems like the only way it could be disposable if it, is if it's so weak that it might not even work, which is incredibly unsafe. Anyway. I don't want to cut myself in the glass. And that's what it happened if I smash it with my fists. It's locked. Well, okay, yeah, can you, like... Manic mannequin leg now? Can I just break it the rest of the way, or what? I don't have any gloves. Use the menu to protect my hand? 
What the hell do I use? Wait a minute. <gasps> I have an idea. Everyone, I have an idea. I think I maybe solved it. Do 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 do. Let's see if this works. I have an idea. I remember an item that I can pick up from the environment that might actually help me. Ba ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum bum bum. <laughs> Bathroom towels. Please 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 please. I think I'm gonna skip bath. Dude, pick them up, you fucker. You could wrap your hands in them. <sighs> All right. Well. That, that would totally work. You could just wrap your hand in a cloth and then everything would be fine. And everybody would be happy. But no. It's got to be overcomplicated. Overcomplicated. Seriously though, what the hell am I supposed to do? This is a weird puzzle because there's a lot of different ways that would solve it, but they don't. I mean, I didn't even need to use a hammer. I could have just used the shotgun to bash it open. I could have used the mannequin leg probably to bash it open too. I could have gotten the plank from the basement, the cellar, and used that. In other words, logic is failing me. So... Try one more time on it, and if not, I'm going to use a walkthrough. Because again, when a bunch of logical solutions to a puzzle don't work, that's when I say, no. Bash it open with... Uh, can I just use my hand? Uh, it's, it's still locked. So one of the little panes is broken, but I still need to actually unlock it from the inside. Right, so I still need to smash it. And that's what it happened if I smashed it with my fists. So you can just use the gun. No. Use the leg. No. Hit it with a fish. Right. Take a peek at the walkthrough. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Wait a minute. Yeah, hammer. So you smash the door window with a hammer and put your arm through the hole to unlock the door. Wait, what? Put your hand through the hole to unlock the door. That's what it says. What, what are you talking about? I, I thought I can't do that. What are you talking about, walkthrough? I don't understand. Put your arm through the hole to unlock the door. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a little... Th there's a little tiny, tiny... Oh my god. Look at these micro hotspots. Door, notice, window. And then there's like a 4x4 four four pixel grid where it's the hole in the window. Oh, come on. Alright, well... I guess the lock are spoiled that I probably can't use anything else even though in reality I could, but let's try. Door, window... Hole in the window. No. Right. So even though those are perfectly fine solutions, I have to stick my hand through it. Did I cut myself? I guess not. This place is surprisingly roomy from the inside. Looked smaller from the outside. It's out of order. What a shame. I really fancy a cigarette now. 
but I've only got one left. I should keep it for later. I wonder if I'm going to end up using the, the cigarette as a, a fuse to light something on fire. This must be the control panel for the main gate. There's some telephone numbers and notices hung up there. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Message board. It says, With the film studio being shut down, the procedures of opening the main gate will now be altered. Starting from Monday the 23rd, two people will now be required to activate the control panel and operate the lever outside simultaneously. This sudden increase in the level of security is to prevent, is to prevent further incidents in the area of the studio. Last year's events will never be forgotten, and friends we lost that summer are still in our hearts. It is our responsibility to make sure it never happens again. What the hell happened there? <laughs> no kidding, that's what I'm thinking. Huh. Whatever happened was a result of poor security, apparently. It's a last year's calendar with a picture of a pretty girl on it. I don't think it'd be very useful. Nothing happens. Yep, so I need another person. This must be where the guard keeps his uniform. Oh, why is it zoomed in? This is creepy. I feel like there's going to be something inside of here. It's just empty, isn't it? Whoa! No. It's not empty. It's not empty. What? Where am I? Am I dead? We knew you were coming, Joe. The maggots told us. Maggots see all. They can look into the world of the living and into the world of the dead. Ask your questions, and maybe we will answer them. But hurry up. She's coming. <laughs> Where am I? This place has many names. Some call it the Void. And some call it the Grave. Some call it Six Feet Under. And some call it the Tomb. But we like to call it... The Paradise of the Rotten Flesh. Who are you? I've forgotten my name long time ago. What about you? Blimey, so have I. Huh. They seem to be happy, fellas. I kind of like them. It, it all just doesn't matter when you're dead. All there is left is watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. You're dead. I died too, haven't I? He bumped you on the head pretty hard. But you're alive. At least until she digs you out. Then you will die. In pain. Slowly. But we want to help you, Joe. We hate those nasty little maggots eating through our bodies piece by piece. Peace. That's why we want to help you. We are good corpses. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm guessing she is... Sophie. 
I'll ask anyway, though. She is the queen of the maggots. Oh, queen of the maggots. A dark queen. She feeds on human flesh, but she prefers fresh meat. Like yourself, Joe. Queen of the maggots. There's definitely a lot of references to this game in The Cat Lady. Since the queen of the maggots is one of the big people, one of the one of the uh, large characters that you talk to. <laughs> one of the large characters. That didn't sound right. One of the biggest characters in the game. That's what I meant to say. What am I supposed to do then? There's a gun in your coffin. She will be here any minute now. Pick up the gun, Joe. She is digging you out. She craves blood. Put your finger on the trigger. Can you hear the shovel hitting the wood? It's her. Kill her. Kill her. Just fucking kill her. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I save? Good, I can. Um. We're good corpses, they say. No, no. I don't believe you. If I just blindly shoot at whoever's there, I'm probably just going to kill someone that, uh... Someone I don't want to kill. Maybe it's the receptionist. I'm going to wait. Let's hope I don't regret that. I ran away. I'm in a hotel. I went to sleep. So I guess this must be a dream. I'm just dreaming of being awake. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. It's you. This is a really good dream. V I have no fucking clue how to pronounce that. <laughs> the Scandinavian rock god? <laughs> what the hell? Here in my room? I must say, this is the best dream ever. And it feels so strangely real. You're quite right, Agnes. This is a dream. But a very important one. Of course it is important. You're in it. It is more important than you think, my darling. You have to get out of this room and do something to save somebody's life. But whose life? What happened? This, I cannot tell you. Why not? I've been a big fan for years. I suppose you owe me something. Focus, Agnes. I already said this is not an ordinary dream. Your mind is in the world of dreams, but your body is awake. I can't tell you much, but I can give you a crucial clue. On it depends somebody's life. I don't know the way destiny works. Probably your destiny has already been decided upon. If it is so, you might join me, even in death. Oh dear, does it mean you're dead? And that there will be no more songs? I was really looking forward to the next album. <laughs> Focus, I said. Listen to the clues. In the isolated mine where time stopped, you will find a shovel. I kind of want to write this down. I'm writing it down. Where the treasure lies and dig deep. Where oh, fuck it. I'm too slow at writing. That's all I can say now. But I will come along and guide you as we go. Are you ready, Agnes? Well, you must be joking me. But since it's you, I might give it a try. Let's go then. <laughs> Mr. Vilda Vi... I, I don't fucking know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Like, I don't even have a clue. Vilda? Vildi? V no way. I'm just gonna call you the, fr the floating Scandinavian rock god. Also, this game just got really weird. As if it hadn't already before, now it's extra weird. Alright, so I can go back to the point where I made that decision to not shoot the person. That's on save 17. These are mine. I must have been moving a lot in my sleep. I would never take the blankets off the bed on purpose. Why is that? It's a... I'm always cold in bed. Silly, huh? 
I think you can only talk to the reception desk on this phone. There's no signal. I shouldn't be surprised. It's only a dream after all. The terrifying emptiness of... And then it just ends. I need to know! The emptiness of what? And they call it art? It's rubbish. Well, hell if I can tell. Just a smudge on my screen. <laughs> this music. It's... It's actually really funny. This game just got funny. Which is weird, because I didn't expect this game to be funny. Nice. Nice. What do you mean... What do you mean, nice? It's just a switch. I think I'd rather keep the lights on. Okay. <laughs> nice switch. Is this my only way out of this room? It well might be, Agnes. You have to work something out. Well, thank you. Thank you, the Scandinavian, floating Scandinavian rock god, for all of your help. For your vague clues. White clean sheet. It's probably the only clean thing I found in this hotel. I swear, every time I've seen probably, it's always been misspelled. Probably. Has it has it ever had a B where it should? Probably. This music this music's groovy. Yeah. Funky. Oh, took the sheet. Not going back to bed. <laughs> Unless he's going with me. There's no time for that, Agnes. Focus on your mission. I was only thinking out loud, you know. God, a Scandinavian rock god is in my dreams and I can't even sleep with him? This is cruel. Just a bedside lamp. It's, you see, there it is again. It's probably broken like everything else in this weird hotel. That's so weird because the P and the B keys aren't anywhere near each other. So it's not like you could accidentally hit it. And I don't think you would accidentally hit that key 25,000 times. It's the door to the bathroom. I've already been. What about you? How thoughtful of you, but no, thank you, love. <laughs> Besides, I'm not going to the toilet when I have the floating Scandinavian rock god in my room with me. How embarrassing. Don't mind me, love. Seriously, are you in my head listening to my thoughts? The door won't budge, even though it seems unlocked. There must be some other way, Agnes. Think! I am thinking, all right. I'm thinking I'm going to put the sheet out the window and crawl down it. It's not long enough. And besides, I couldn't just tie it to the window. Well, fuck. Take the blanket. I know, tie them together. I tied them to I tied them two together. Sheet plus blanket. What could I anchor it to? Yeah, I need to tie it to something. What about have him hold it? I better keep the sheet plus blanket. I might need it later. He's a floating fucking ghost. He can't just hold it for me. And then just float down. It's too high. Mm. Door handle? How am I going to attach this to the door? There we go. Good thinking, Agnes. Now we should be able to climb down the window. What do you mean, we? You're a fucking floating Scandinavian rock god. Just float down. You don't need to climb anywhere. What a horrible weather. I really hate this country. Well, we're outside. Maybe you could give me more clues? I'm afraid I can't at the moment. You'll have to work this one out yourself. Fine, fine. But you owe me a drink when we're done.
Agnes, can I ask you a question? Of course. What is it? What's with the wedding dress? Did you just get married? Or were you going to? Oh, that. No. It's very simple, really. I run a little business up in Yorkshire. We sell and rent wedding dresses. I often tend to put one of those on for advertisement purposes. Would you like a card? No, thanks. I don't think I'll ever need a wedding dress, to be honest. I guess you're right. It wouldn't really suit you. Alright, well now that we have two people, we should be able to open this. Also, what if I go to the locker again? Am I going to get bonked over the head too? Agnes, can you see that lever on the wall? Of course I can see it. I'm not blind. Yeah, well, could you pull the lever when I give you a shout? Sure. But saying please wouldn't hurt you, you know? You just do it, alright? Fine. Just let me know when you want me to follow you again, alright? This rain is bad for my skin. You're standing under the roof now, Agnes. You're not getting wet. Oh, just shut up and get on with whatever you're doing. Wait, so... Do I just pull it? Or... Well, it's some kind of lever, obviously, but I don't see any reason why I should pull it. Uh, I do. Alright. See, this is why I'm thinking if I gotta open up this locker and find him. Like, maybe he's just inside of the locker. I don't know. Let's see what happens. This could be a great hiding place. But I'm not getting inside unless I really have to. Ah. Better not. I don't know what it does, and I'm not that curious, really. Right, maybe I should read the notice. Oh wait, I can't. I can't read the notice anymore, can I? Nope. I really can't be bothered to read this. Well, fine. Look at all that crap written on there. What a waste of paper. Alright, what do I do with her? I just realized, Agnes is the person who was... Uh, when I first came into the hotel, I saw her trying to get cigarettes. But the hotel didn't sell them or allow them, right? Isn't that her? Oh. The game just... crashed. Alright, I'm back, so I've discovered a bug. If you left-click on Agnes, it crashes the game. Because I did it twice, and it did the exact same thing both times. So, let's not left-click on her. You can right-click on her. Girls in wedding dresses always attract attention. Just don't left-click. What if I left-click on him? I better just carry on with my little quest. Oh, I can't caress the floating Scandinavian rock god. What a shame. Look at those abs. The halfway invisible ones. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. I'm not gonna touch that. The only way inside is through that gate. Hmm. It's weird, I can't even go to the... Oh no, here we go. Can I ask you a question now? As long as it isn't about your little quest. No, don't be silly. I... I'd like to know why you're floating in the air like some ghost. Agnes, I'm just a dream messenger. Your mind is creating my very image. <sighs> it's your subconscious that makes me able to do that. In that case, can I fly too? 
No, sorry. But don't ask. Just leave it, will you? And that would be the developer hanging a lantern on that little pod thing, like, hmm, it doesn't really make any sense, I'm just gonna put a lantern here, set it on maximum brightness, light it up, and there we go. Oh, it's open. Are we there yet? I can't tell you that. You know, you really are useless. What did you blay follow me for, then? Well... Okay, this is the place. Happy now? Yeah. I am. I am happy. Thank you. Floating Scandinavian rock god. This one shows a miner being attacked by a giant monster with tentacles. Is that what I was supposed to find? <laughs> they look so fake. I don't need to touch them to prove they're not real people. Oh. 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 Okay, what was his tip? Um, I... I... So, what the f... Man, when I was scribbling this note to take down his hint... What the fuck was I th... What the fuck was I thinking? I'm looking at this note. Isolate mine wort. The fuck did I write on this piece of paper? I don't even know what the hell I was supposed to say. But yeah, in the... In the cave of... Cave of... What, I, there's something about a shovel. I'm gonna take the shovel now. Yoink. Well done, Agnes. You found the shovel. Now let's get the hell out of here before... Oh. What the? Run! Run, Agnes, run! Take the back door and find a place to hide. Hurry up! Oh shit. The psycho is chasing me! Okay, uh... What the fuck? Continue three left. Uh, I don't even know what ha- Okay, I guess I didn't move fast enough. What's happening? Oh, here we go. Wait, what about this curtain? Uh, let's look at the postcard stand. This is the famous waxwork. Hey, dude, what's going on? Oh, should I be running? I guess I should probably run. Is he dead? Isn't he lovely? It w I wish it wasn't just a dream. He, well, he does kind of look better when he's all cut up, too. Sexy. Hmm. Okay, let's run. Oh my god, go! Go, go! Right, so I need to get to the hiding place. Which is... the locker. Walk a little bit faster, Agnes, please. Okay. Where am I? Hello? Is anybody here? Welcome to my court, dream traveler. Oh, shit, I skipped something. And where are you? Feared by all, adored only by the flesh-eating maggots. I am the queen of the dead. Though I, do not pos though I do not pose a threat to you, my dear child, you are beyond my reach, at least for now. Today, I shall offer you a shelter, a hiding place from those who are after you. Lights up. Oh, what is this place? This is the entrance to my humble kingdom. Most people who come here never leave. If you follow these endless corridors, you will find yourself in the abyss of hell. In that case, I definitely won't. Of course. That's why I'm telling you, my dear. I'd just like to leave then, if I may. Yes. I should not keep you any longer. 
The man who followed you will not bother you again. In the coffin on the right, you will find a key to the door. And there's also a little gift to someone you are about to meet very soon. Who's that? I wouldn't dare to spoil the surprise, dear child. All right, then. I'll be on my way. Thank you for saving me, strange old Addy. Strange old Addy. Thank you for saving me, Addy. Next time we will meet, though, I will insist you call me Your Majesty. Pfft, fucking, look at the ego on this, Queen of the Dead. As nice as you are, I will make sure it won't be anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really feeling like if I chose to shoot whoever was coming into the coffin, I'd be shooting Agnes. I really feel like I might have been. And I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Looks like a room service trolley. Maybe life after death isn't so bad after all. It's probably pretty bad. It's probably pretty bad. I better not. She seems to be staring at me. Waiting to tell me not to touch anything. Can you please not touch anything, dear? But I haven't. Yes, but I know you were going to. All right, all right. Yeah, my love. All right. All right. Oh, look. Half mutilated bodies. And they're skewered on big meat hooks. Is this their eternal punishment for a lifetime of sins? Not really. This is just what happens to you when you're dead. Well, alrighty then. Look at this bloody hole. Bloody, bloody hole. Literally bloody. Oh, this one too. Blood everywhere. Some candles are lit on the floor. <laughs> Can I blow them out individually? Causing a person to die each time? Bloodstained coffin. Did I just pick something up? Oh, shotgun shells. I guess that's the gift for the person I'm about to meet. The person being Joe, who has a shotgun. There's nothing else in there that I need. You don't want to look down there, love. No, why? What's in there? You shall find out one day in the future, but not yet. Are you sure? Ah. Can I just, just peek over the side a little bit? Oh, damn it. Just, just touch my toe over the, 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 ed no, damn it. All right, time to leave. Goodbye. It's locked. Wait, what the fuck? Where am I supposed to go? Yo, Queen of Maggots, what up? I'd rather just leave the... Wait, what? I thought you couldn't hear that. I can hear everything, my child. Where's I supposed to go? I mean, if it's not out the door, where is it? Oh, house key. Oh, this house. Huh. Okay. So... Where do I go? Okay, well I have a shovel, so I think I'm supposed to dig him up. But... Where is he? I'd say a graveyard. Is there a graveyard at the church? I never go to church and I'm not gonna go now. Fair enough. Okay. I know he's I know she said I'm safe now. But can I really trust that strange woman? No. I better stay away from that area for now. Alright, so. 
Where could he be buried? A lonely car standing in the driveway. I wonder who it belongs to. Hijacking the car is probably... Probably not the best idea. I swear, every single probably... Is a P instead of a B. Every single one. Ah! There it is. Alright, let's see if my decision to not shoot whoever was digging was the right one. It certainly seems like that's what's happening. Just because of the way they're set up and... You know, they said that she's digging and I'm the one with the shovel that's about to start digging. And I have a shotgun shell, so I'm obviously supposed to meet him soon. So assuming this goes the way I think it's going to go, I'm pretty proud of myself for that decision. Good corpses. Bullshit. Finally. Time for my reward. Please don't let me wake up before I dig this treasure out. Ah! I made the right decision. Whew. Huh. <laughs> so you're supposed to be my treasure? No offense, but I'm slightly disappointed. You owe me some explanation. Oh, I'm just... Oh. That's it. Come with me. Look. Whoever you are, I'm grateful for getting me out of that stinking coffin. <laughs> well, I should think so. You have no idea what I've done, what I've had to go through to save you. First, that horrible man with the axe chasing after me. And then this weird woman inside the locker. But it wasn't really a locker. It was like a gate to some other dimension. I'm not making much sense, am I? Did you just say... I remember it. Actually, that locker is the last thing I remember before I woke up in my own grave. Blimey, that's pretty bad as well. What kind of dream is that? Dream? How do you mean? A dream? Yes. A dream. Oh, damn, I skipped it. But I'm hurt. My head is killing me. You don't get headaches in your dreams. To me, you're... You're just a dream person trying to convince me that it's not a dream. You can keep trying, but deep inside, I know that you're just a creation of my sleeping mind. So you're me, in a way. I guess I could say the same about you. Maybe it's me dreaming and you're just an old memory of someone I used to know a long time ago. Yeah? Why don't you pinch my arm then and watch me disappear? Look. It doesn't matter. Maybe we're just two different people who went to sleep in two different places and coincidentally met in the same dream. Well... I guess I can accept that. Alright then. We're in serious trouble. This place is... evil. As is everything around it. There's this woman. She... She kidnapped my wife. We've got to stop her. Alright, alright. How do we do that? You got a plan or something? Or shall we just get in there and kill the bitch? I shouldn't get you involved. I don't even know your name. You can get hurt. You can even die. Listen. This might be the scariest dream I've ever had. But so far, I made it. I'll be fine. And I want to see how it ends. I didn't go through all this for nothing. Alright, I know what to do. The only way to get my wife back is to kill four memories of this woman. Her name is Sophie, and she lives in this hotel. I know it sounds crazy, but everything about this hotel is crazy too. Four memories? How's that going to help your wife? It's... complicated. I'm not sure I even understand it myself. She... 
I think she feeds on hotel guests. She's trying to make herself fat. A cannibal? I like to read about this sort of stuff. I don't think Sophie is a human. At least not a living one. She's more like a ghost. Killing four memories from four different stages of her life will wipe out her existence. Hopefully. They told me there's still time. I can still save Ivy. Now you're talking really crazy. Pull yourself together. I don't see why we can't talk to her first. But if talking doesn't work, I hope you've got some weapons on you. I get the feeling you might need them. Are you in then? I might as well follow you. Alright. The name's Joe Davis. Nice to meet you, Joe. My name is Agnes. And this is for you. Strange old lady I met told me it's a gift for you. Shotgun shells? Yes. Disappointed? Not at all. That's just what I need. Ammo. Let's get inside. This rain is ruining my hair. I'm really fed up with this weather. But before we go, I must warn you. I'm not in the mood for killing. You want to kill your memories? Fine. But do it yourself. Alright, fair enough. I'm not going back in there. Wait. Wait, when... When did I get a gun? Oh, right, there's a gun inside of the coffin. Is it loaded? It was in the coffin with me. I think there's only one bullet left. Oh. Sweet. So, where's the shells? Right here. That's better. Excellent. Loaded shotgun and a loaded pistol. Hurry up! Let's go inside. I'm soaking wet already. Can you smell the dead? They are all around us. I don't know about that, but I sure can smell a cat. A cat? Yeah, a cat's piss. It's a strong stench. Can't you smell that? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 